Hello and welcome back to a brand new video and I'm right where I left off uh, like I said last video didn't record right so let's um, return Feelings mutual, You can never have too many friends not in the common way Listen, when we first met you asked about the Minutemen one thing you should know about us we help out our friends so here, for everything you've done thanks Sweet some caps. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. Um, yeah, but first I need to continue my mission. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. Please, tell me. I need to know. You were a man out of time. Out of hope. I was not lost. I can feel the sun's energy. He's alive. I'm listening. Look, kid. I know how I sound. The sight, it's yeah. clear. And it ain't always clear. But your son's out there. Even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. Diamond I City. Green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest, the biggest settlement, settlement around. around. Please, Mama Murphy. I'm working for nothing. I need more. Look, kid. I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The sight will paint a clearer picture. Talk about this. That jump. It's gonna kill you. Oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna yeah, need Preston. Sight. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Yeah. Let's Stop trying to take it away from me. Alright, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. Yeah, thanks to me. You guys should like give me caps and stuff. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her guard? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chick? He's based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? Oh, hold on, hold on. Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to us. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm gonna go to continue my mission. Let's see, where is it at? Jewel of the Commonwealth. Scope. Alright, well, I'm just gonna leave my armor here so I don't lose it. Take the fusion core out so nobody takes it. Come okay, on. Give me that, give me that, give me that. And I'm gonna go continue my mission. Oh, this guy again. I'm just gonna walk around him. We had a deal. Hand over the goods. You always I ain't giving you poison shilling cap pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, This doesn't involve him. I'm calling it right here. This world can officially bite my ass. Hey, we all got problems, all right? I'm just trying to collect on what's owed to me. Don't suppose you feel like helping us out? Use an extra gun. Maybe you talk some sense into Trudy over there. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. Appreciate it. If things go sideways, We'll back you up. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. I want to help you, Trudy. What can I do? Get rid of Wolfgang. I don't know what he offered you, but I'll pay you a hundred caps to kill that gent-selling scumbag. A hundred caps? Oh, that's good. All right, Trudy. 
I'll get rid of him. Thank you. I'll back you up from here. Go get him. Get it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You just ruined my plan. I was gonna sneak attack him. Oh, good. Hey there. Oh, I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. Not looking to buy right now. Started fire support. Listen to frequency. Let's see what this frequency is. Cambridge Police Station. I hear the gunshots. Gotta go towards the gunshots. Just hope I don't die. Level up. Ahem. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Mm. I prefer to keep my business to myself. Then, if there's nothing left to discuss, I suggest you leave our compound immediately. Mean. Paladin, have you decided to cooperate and tell me what brought you here? I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? I'm from Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. Hmm, wonder why is that? If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. Uh, yeah. I'll continue that. But not yet. But you owe me an explanation first. Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there, describe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been right. trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir. If I may. Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is our systems, and it contains the technology we need. The deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? Are you willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Uh, no. This sounds like a fool's errand to me. You're on your own. Then I suggest you get out of our room. Excuse me, Paladin Dance. Have you reconsidered my request for support, civilian? Yes. Time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. 
outstanding. Alright, I'm about to bridge the Diamond City. Or to this, um, ruined small city that's not Diamond City yet. I think there's radiators over there. Just gotta cross this bridge. USS Riptide. Super Mutants What the f three? Hey. Yeah. Not afraid of mutants, huh? You're our kind of guy. Yeah, you. All right, we're about to get the Diamond City. Open the gate. Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing What's going my on job. here? Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out. Is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Ooh. I'm sorry, <laughs> but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Freak, Tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. Open up. Yeah, man, open up. You. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Yeah. What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, alright. Jeez. To make it personal. Give me a minute. That was less Better than a minute. Quick before old Danny catches on with the bluff. Sounds good. Let's go. Not a great day in Diamond City. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slander. Slander. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Yeah. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. <gasps> Welcome to the great Sweet. green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, 
settle down. Hmm. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Hmm. This hasn't been the friendliest welcome. He's got you there, McDonough. Guess not everyone gets won over by that shark smile. <laughs> now, <laughs> was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help. Mm. I guess we'll see. This is ridiculous. Diamond City security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates into I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Do you feel honored yet? Yeah. Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. All right, we made it. Made it to the damn city. Check. Look at this diamond city. The most diamond city in in the diamonds. It's also a baseball stadium, which is awesome. Hey, look at this guy. Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City Surplus is open 24 hours a day. 24 hours. What do you sell here? Oh, everything, sir. Miss Burner prizes herself on being a collector of quality odds and ends from all over the Commonwealth. This is a Commonwealth. We also buy any unwanted items you may be carrying on your person. And we're open 24 hours a day. Thank you. I'll Let's see what he has. Sure. Anything and everything. Ammo. Combat knife. Um, it's really expensive. <gasps> I need this. Freak. I'm buying this. Got a new helmet. We're always open. Yeah, you. Uh, yeah. Hey, Piper. Yeah. Holding up, Blue. Good luck in this town. Yeah. Holding up. Look, I'm just gonna say it. You're a vault dweller. You might not be wearing the blue jumpsuit, but the Pip Boy and that fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. And watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Cold. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yep. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? It sucks. Oh. You're all living in rusty shacks. Killing each other. So. Okay. Well, that's gonna be a fun one to quote. Now I already know you're looking for your son. Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? 
The Institute? Who were they? That blue is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. And people I wonder can. why they just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. Right. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the populace. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Get revenge. Find who's <laughs> responsible and make them pay. Simple as that. I'll take anger over apathy any day. Good quote. Thanks, Blue. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna be done in the city plenty to talk about. Look, about your son. I didn't know if you were on the up and up before. Didn't want to waste my friend's time, but I think he can help you. His name's Nick Valentine, a detective extraordinaire. Got an office here in Diamond City. Just look for the neon sign with the heart in it. I know exactly where it is. Thanks, Piper. Talk to him. He'll like you. He's got a soft spot for the hard luck cases. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. All right, I'm ready. Piper. Head my way. Sure, let's go. Will do. Oh. Oh, sorry, boy. Time for you to head home. No, don't leave. No. I swear I'm not a sin. Don't shoot, for God's sakes. We're family. What's going on here? Put the gun down now. He's a sin. He'll kill us all. Oh, what the I'll freak? No. Okay, <laughs> show's over. There are no sins in Diamond City. You hear me? You folks. What'd you say? I'll do it, man. Try right, step back. His ties. All right, so that's it for this episode. If you like the series so far, don't forget to like and subscribe and keep up with the series and watch all my videos and um yeah just leave a like and don't forget to share the video as well and yeah subscribe if you want to keep on watching the series dark dark out